we gotta set something straight. What you eat does impact your ability to regulate, therefore affecting behavior. If your diet consists of a lot of sugar and fat, you are going to have trouble regulating your central nervous system, which will impact your behavior. Think of it like this. Let us say a child is demonstrating aggressive behavior. In the afternoon, they seem to be grumpy and experience a crash. Now, let us look at their diet. Let us say for breakfast, they had chocolate chip waffles with extra butter and syrup. Mmm, tasty. For lunch, we come to find out that they had a Nutella and peanut butter uncrustable sandwich. Uh-oh, now that is two meals that lack nutritional value. Lastly, for dinner, chicken tendies and fries. Guys, that diet will lead to central nervous system dysregulation, which then affects behavior. Don't get me wrong, we need unhealthy meals sometimes as intermittent reinforcement leads to stronger behavioral maintenance. I know it is difficult to get children to eat even the slightest bit healthy sometimes. But if you're finding that a child is dysregulated on a daily basis, regardless of the behavioral intervention strategies that you try, it might be time to check their diet. The Journal of Nutrition provides plenty of evidence to back this up. The daily chocolate chip waffles and chicken tendies aren't going to lead to high performing behaviors. That diet is not sustainable.